I received 20 messages, some of them from people I hadn't seen in many, many years. And I realized that it was creating an overlapping, almost like glazed images on top of each other. And some of us are touching just barely, and some of us are going very deep and actually uh, creating projects together. And sometimes we'll get really intense with one person and we'll do a project and then you kind of drift away. And then after a while, maybe they come to consciousness and then you come back and you touch again. So I believe that social networking is creating a whole new set of uh, images and ways of looking at things and even ways of being and ways of living and it's brand new and we get we're getting to make it up as we go along. Here with me now is Jill Derilovich. She is president and owner of Ravenstone and Featherstone Arts and she is also submitting several pieces of work to our auction and show. So here is Jill to talk about her inspirations and all the different pieces she has. So. Thank you Maddie, you can go down. <laughs> So I am the crazy lady that built this place with my husband, Dan. Uh, we've created a spot for artists to come and be inspired no matter where they go. There's art sculptures and water features and hot tubs. And so at an early age, um, I was inspired by my dad, who was considered at the time a jack of all trades. Later on, I discovered that the real term for that is a renaissance man. And he was able to recreate anything. He dabbled in all the arts. But most important is he taught me never to say I can't. The biggest curse word for my dad was the word that I, I can't do it. And inspired me to be able to do anything I wanted to do. And then growing up, my best friend's mother was a theatrical agent. So my life was surrounded by color and artists. Um, I worked for the mayor of New York bringing art to inner city kids and it's kind of interesting because I've come full circle where I've opened a business, a nonprofit, again bringing art to people. Uh, I work in a lot of different mediums. This is acrylic on canvas and I, I paint mostly for my children and family. Um, this is a G-clay actually. The original is hanging in my daughter's living room called Tango. The trees are dancing. This one I call Kudos to Klimt because Gustav Klimt uh, did the picture originally and I did my little rendition of it, how to give it curly hair. Because contrary to what I look like, my hair is really quite curly. This one's called Radical Raven and I just, I just loved him. And I was painting on um, Naugahyde and you saw my sister-in-law Sherry's work. That's what she does. And I went to her house one day and got inspired to do that piece. This one, um, my son asked me to do a piece that had the monks and the willow tree in it, so I created that. It's called The Journey, and the monks are heading to their mecca. Uh, I love birds and horses and people. That's just an egret painting I did. This one's a pelican picture that's hanging in my brother's house in Panama. This one is wild horses that I, it's a chicle. The original has a lot more metallic colors in it, but it was for my daughter, Venice. She has a passion for horses. In addition to doing painting, like I said, jack of all trades, Renaissance woman, I'm a sculptor. And this was the very first piece I did, and I call it emergence. So you have a horse's head coming out, then the body starts developing. And in the last part of it, the horse is all out except for one little leg that's still left behind. Um, this one is a heron that I did for my mother-in-law because their last name is O'Heron. And this piece over here is my favorite. It's not metal, it's clay, and I painted it to look like metal. Um, it was the mock-up for a grant I was writing in, in Alaska, but it's an eagle head with two ravens, and when you turn it, it uh, morphs into a horse. I did some ceramic masks, and this is my favorite because there's a history. This is actually one of the cooling system blades from the um, WHOOPS project, and WHOOPS uh, stands for the nuclear power plant project that never finished, uh, that the people voted down didn't have the money to continue with. And so 
I bought over 200 blades that are still in their original carton saying Satsop nuclear power plant on it because as a young mother of two, I was against nuclear power plants in New York and I, so I shut off my electricity for four years. And two years ago, my husband came home with this blade and told me what it was from and I, it took me full circle to, um, to be doing something useful with nuclear power plant blades. And um, I'm planning on writing several grants, bringing in Native Americans and other tribes and doing um, totems, uh, teaching people to be caretakers of the earth and we'll have wind features in them and water features in them. Glass, I've been doing every aspect of glass possible. I've blown, I've uh, fused, I've slumped, I've done stained glass. And these, I, I would, I'm, I'm thrifty, I save everything. And I was saving scraps and thinking what I can do with it. I decided, cool, why don't I make these dancing ladies? And so I've got a, that one is my African tribal ladies. This is kind of like my class, the upscale ladies. And I have a, a whole series of them. And if you go back over here, I, um, I started having artist parties. And so I've committed to, well, I should be committed, but I committed to once a month doing an artist party and inviting all different artists to come in and work in with it, whatever medium they'd like to. We decided for this party to paint furniture to auction off at the Big Ruby event. And so Becky Fress and I painted this table together at the party. And then I started designing, and I'm still working on it, which is why all the paints are there, um, a set of chairs to go with the table to be auctioned off at the Big Ruby event. And last but not least, this is my piece that will be going into Big Ruby. And uh, it's the Raven Stone for, um, for the name of the business. And the Raven's holding a ruby in his mouth as a form of communication. So this piece will be for sale at Big Ruby and those pieces will be in the auction. My dream is to be able to raise enough money to keep Ravenstone going and to bring arts to the people and to bring artists to other places and to offer scholarships for, um, for emerging artists, helping them increase their talents. So I hope to see you all there. Well, I will be seeing you there because this video is going to be playing there. So drink wine, eat food, and shop party.